Tonight, city leaders in Riviera Beach admit they did not perform the required background check on the city athletic director, who is a registered sex offender. Abram Elam ran the city athletic department, including the Pop Warner Football League program, for a year before his criminal background became an issue. Our investigative reporter, Terry Parker, first broke the story and joins us now with the update you'll only see here on WPBF 25 News. Terry? Yeah, Todd, lots of people in Riviera Beach knew about former NFL player Abe Elam's past, convicted of felony sexual battery 20 years ago. So how did he get a contract to run the city's youth and senior athletic department, putting the city's relationship with the Pop Warner Football League into jeopardy? Riviera Beach native Abe Elam signed a $25,000 contract with the city manager Jonathan Evans in August 2022 to be an outside consultant athletic director. But Pop Warner officials found out last month and said, no way can you have a registered sex offender taking part in our program or we will cut ties. How did that even happen? After repeated public records requests, I just received this admission from the city manager's assistant saying, there was no background check completed on Mr. Elam prior to his contract. The city manager said, goes on to say that, that this goes against not only the city policy to vet every employee, but also possibly violate state statute. We don't know why there was no background check or if city manager Evans was aware of Elam's sex offender status. But interestingly, in Elam's contract, it notes that while he'll provide oversight to the youth sporting activities, consultant will not have any direct coaching contact with youth participants, which seems to be an odd thing to add about your athletic director. The city told Pop Warner it would abide by its rules this season, meaning no new contract for Elam. But I've learned some people are going to show up at tonight's city council meeting wearing t-shirts saying we support Abe and that one council member may make a motion to rehire him. We'll watch this one for you. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.